All right, so this is gonna be the Radiolink T16D radio. And basically, as you know, it only supports the Radiolink protocol. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to get this compatible with ExpressLS. So potentially, um, besides your irregular RC planes, you will be able to fly one of the FPV drones that basically the Biden fly ones. All right, let's get going. All right, so first thing first, to make the T16D be compatible with ExpressLS, you are required to get one of the external module. And this particular one is going to be the ATA Hobby ExpressLS module, which is also came with the kit that they actually provided me. But if you wanted to just buy any kit, you can just get any nano size ExpressLS module, and it's basically going to work. Also, a little bit note is that make sure you get the one that actually says 2.4 gigahertz instead of the 918 or something, because yeah, that is going to be the major protocol that most of the bind and flight FPV drones will be using. All right, so once you have this, all you have to do is kind of flip the radio. You're going to see that there is going to be a module cover over here. Just so I have to remove it. Simple. And all you have to do is kind of line it up and plug it in. Once you hear a snap, it's basically done. Next step, simply just power it on by pressing the button. Welcome to Radio Link. And next step, I want you to press the most tab, most tab, and you're going to be going into receiver setting. All right, so once you arrive the setup page, you are going to select this from internal to external. So this is going to basically power up the ExpressLS module. And as for the protocol, make sure you select ExpressLS. And the bot rate, you can just kind of leave it as default for now. It should be okay. Once you start hearing the fan, you can hear that it's really loud. Go to the perimeter. After pressing the button, you should be arriving at this page. And the beauty of this radio is that they already loaded the ExpressLS Lua script. So you do not have to do any additional stuff in order to get it set up. All right, so one troubleshoot tip is that if you see that it continues to say loading in here, then double check to make sure that you have properly plugged in the module because if it's going to be plugging in loose, sometimes it might not detect the pins or whatsoever. So that's going to be the first step you wanted to go check. In most of the case, that is going to be the main reason. All right, so in the ExpressLS script page, I want you to go to the packet rate. Make sure you set it to 500. This is going to be compatible for most of the uh, drones that I, you have. And TX power, this is where you're supposed to be adjusting how much output you want this module to out be outputting. So generally 250 should be more than sufficient, but if you want more, you can always just adjust more. The more important thing right here is that you wanted to read this last section. This is going to be giving you what version that the ExpressLS module is on. But so far, most of the stuff that you're going to be getting right now, at least for the year of 2025, it's going to be all in 3.x or something, 3. Point some kind of firmware version. And that is going to be essential because if your firmware version is not in the three categories, for instance, if your module is in two and your drone is in three, they're not going to buy together. It has to be both in three. So, yep, just make sure that if you, if for some reason your drone is not biting, that's going to be the first step you wanted to kind of suspect to see what is wrong with it. Next step, let's just put the cursor at the buy section. Don't press it now. Let's kind of leave it here. All right, so next step, I want you to bring out your Express Lust drone. So most of the case right now, most of the stuff that you're going to see on the market are going to be in serial-based ELRS receiver. So which means that, yeah, this kind of cheat method should work. This is going to be the easy binding method. So what you have to do, very simple, all you have to do, grab a battery, piece of battery, plug and unplug it three times real fast. So one, two, three and plug it in all the way on the fourth. So this step is basically going to be forcing the receiver to into binding mode. And as long as you have the same kind of firmware version, they're just going to be binding together right away after you press the bind button right here. So we're just going to press the bind button. Okay, so you can hear that. Yeah, basically that's going to be the indication saying that they are just bounded together. All right, so right now there's going to be a first problem that you're going to probably going to be running into. So this particular drone, I basically set up a model matching requirement. So you can see that on the top, it's just saying model mismatch. And this is going to be causing it not to giving any instruction to the drone with the radio. So what you have to do, very simple, if you see this message, just kind of like, Go to the model matching section, turn the model matching on, and it's going to be resolved. So basically right now, the drone should be listening to the radio. So at this stage, our setting is basically mostly done. You have bound it together, but how do you make sure the motor starts spinning? So if you actually have the radio by default, like this, like basically you haven't customized it anything. So on the bottom right here, this one is generally going to be your aux one, which is also going to be your arm switch. 
So you can see that motor starts spinning. And this one is going to be your mode switch in general. FPV drones, there's going to be three kind of modes in general. So angle, horizon, and acro. So this one is kind of like the one that doesn't tilt over. This one tilts over but recovers once you release the sticks. And this one is just completely manual, which requires all your skill to keep it balanced. And if you require to use kind of crash flip in general, it's going to be either this one or it's either going to be that one. So aux one, aux two, aux three, and aux four. So basically that's going to be the general sequence of most of the radios that just basically came out coming out from manufacturer. All right, so basically that's going to be about it for this short tutorial. And if you have additional questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you find value in my contents, please help me like and subscribe so you can just keep me going. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Happy flying.